Welcome to See Me Here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy Nikki JJ. And today we are reviewing The Intruder. Directed by Dion Taylor, starring Michael Ely, Megan Good, Dennis Quaid, and Joseph Sikora, aka Tommy Egan. So Dion Taylor, this was a director I wasn't too familiar with uh, before last year until the movie Traffic. Which I actually liked. It did terrible. <laughs> but I liked the movie. I enjoyed the movie. And The Intruder, I also enjoyed. Uh, but probably not for reasons it was made for. Or maybe it was. You know, this is a thriller at heart, right? But this movie was funny as hell. <laughs> this movie was hilarious. I don't know what was funnier. Just the scene choices. Uh, you know, they had Megan Good, who everybody knows is absolutely beautiful, right? Uh, she felt like a piece of meat <laughs> in this movie. Like, it's so it's so many love scenes. It's so uh, so many ways they sexualize her. I was like, you know, it's more about how good she looked versus the the thrilling part of the movie. Uh, and then the second reason that's funny is Dennis Quaid's faces throughout this whole movie. Like, if my if I saw an intruder like that, I don't know whether I would shoot him or shoot a laugh. <laughs> he was killing me, literally, <laughs> we're killing him. This is a funny movie. I have to start off by saying, Megan Good. Wouldn't you just go for it? I, I, I enjoy seeing you on the big screen, I do. Not only are you a beautiful woman, right? Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. But you do a good job on the screen, right? She did a good job in this movie. She do okay. And I seen her Shazam last, so maybe she might be getting more roles in the future. Because she was nowhere for a while, though. All jokes aside, she wasn't nowhere for a while. That's true. So she got Shazam. I know it's just a little cameo, boo. But now she's in a, a movie where she's actually a co starring in. So that's kind of big. And she did well. She did well. Outside of being this, uh, you know, the. the piece, of, piece of me. I'm not, I'm not, that's I'm what she was. And it's a trophy and wife. Yeah, she was in a this trophy. movie. She was a trophy. They, like they was all holding the Lombardi. <laughs> it was a hard. They, 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 they. But they also made her a powerful black woman. Also, like she did take charge in scenes. All scenes, especially at the end. Okay. She took charge. She wasn't. She wasn't. She was a little bit gullible. I didn't like that. Yeah. That's probably my biggest knock about this movie. Yeah. Is I feel like everybody. This always happens in thrillers, and this, this is my biggest criticism about any thriller. Nah, not any. John Peel don't do that. No, no, no. I'm, no, no. I'm saying when you do this wrong. Okay. Not in, that's, it's not in everything. I got Okay. Uh, I got, not, yeah, I not in everything. Like George Peele doing them right. It's, he did a little bit in the last movie too, though. Just a little bit. All right. But all I was going to say was, I hate stupid characters. I hate characters that don't make logical decisions. I'm not going to even say smart. They don't make logical decisions. Yeah. Like, Megan Good, for most of this movie, was really gullible. Like, really... Uh, not knowing what really is going on and I didn't like that. I'm like at some point you got to get hit and it took way too long for her to get hit. Her and her husband. Like you need to be a little bit more logical when you're making characters. I know you making them dumb makes serves the plot, right? It lets the plot move forward because everything that the intruder is doing and like, oh, well, you know, he just wants to be here. Oh yeah, you know, he's lonely. All right, all right how many excuses do you make until you say all right? This is starting to get a little bit creepy. That's like, true. and that is where I have my biggest gripe. And not to bring up another movie, but a movie like, uh, what was the last movie where I thought somebody was very small? What was the movie that just came out with the old woman? Greta. Perfect example. She got hit to Greta quickly. Like, Greta is crazy. And I need to get away from her. And that is what I like. I like that realism. And then let the intruder find ways back into their life. Yeah. That is what they should have did. And that's my biggest knock on this movie. Biggest knock for me is the fact that I was, I'm still confused. I don't know whether this movie should have been that funny. Uh, you know, maybe the director planned that. He wanted this to be as entertaining as it was for me. Uh, but I definitely wasn't uh, thrilled. I wasn't, the suspense wasn't there. I didn't feel nervous or uneasy, uneasy. I just laughed at the whole thing. Not because, you know, somebody was doing so badly, just because it was just funny. It was just, it was naturally funny. I've seen the way that he looks at you. Now Charlie is after me. Stay away from my wife. Uh, some of the characters were witty. Uh, some of the lines were, Kind of, kind of jokey, not yeah, really. Not funny, but but enough 
for me to just continue laughing <laughs> through this whole movie. Uh, and I appreciate that because comedies are rare nowadays. Uh, <laughs> and if I can get it from a thriller, like, so be it. And this is nothing like Tropic, right? I no, felt right. Tropic was, was like a lot more suspenseful, but I feel like it also had a good backing with the whole human trafficking, so they had a good base to run off of. Yeah. And this movie didn't. It was just a thriller, and it was just a, let's go for it, an intruder. We've seen it a million times, but how can you do it differently? He did a few things differently, but a lot of it fell in the cliche of most thrillers that involved an intruder. For me, uh, and you know, I can recognize this movie isn't as good as it should be, right? I, I understand that, but. I was entertained. I was thoroughly entertained. And so, taking all of that into consideration, I will give this movie a 7. I'll give this movie a 7 out of 10. Just because I was entertained. Is the acting spectacular? No. Is it a good thriller? No. Is it a entertaining movie that I would recommend to anybody looking for just something to pass the time or something to watch while they're scrolling through Netflix or I'm bored, what's on TV? Oh look, it's The Intruder. I would tell you in all those scenarios, yeah, like go ahead and watch it because it is a fun ride right up until the end. I enjoyed every second of it. Overall, this movie really did feel like everything else, right? Like, and there's better movies like this, right? Absolutely. So I don't really know how I feel about this movie because, like, even like a movie like Bass Samaritan, which we have a review for that you can check out, uh, that was better, and that kind of had an intruder-like feel, even though it was, was you know, it's in reverse. Tropic, you know, another movie that's a man directed. Also, had Intruders, and that was better, you know. So, there are a lot of, even like New Terror kind of was on the same lines of like a movie like this, right? So, in closing, I will have to get this movie a 6.5. I think the movie is something that's not terrible, but it's not something you've never seen before. So, unless you just want to see Megan Good, which I'm not mad. She did, a, she did a really good job in this movie. <laughs> she did a really good job in this movie. I enjoy every scene that she was, that was in. That really good. Yeah. <laughs> Megan good. Megan good. Did good. I'm, I'm so flabbergasted. Uh, Megan good did really good in this movie. You did okay. She was the only one. I thought everybody did a good job. Everybody did, everybody did what they were supposed to. Thank you. So, yeah. If you want to watch Megan Good, <laughs> then this movie is definitely a movie you should check out. And the 6.5 just shows that it's something that is a worth watching. That completes the review for The Intruder. Uh, entertaining movie. I didn't say good movie. I said entertaining. And sometimes you just want to go to the movies to be entertained, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I think with this year, which has been full of duds, maybe I look back on this 7 and I go, yeah, maybe it was too high. But I was entertained. And that is something that no other movie can take away. I think a seven is fair. Seven is fair. You made a six point five. I agree. Yeah. Uh, now, will I see this movie ever again? Probably not. <laughs> if you see it, I'll go back and check it out. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, just to see making good. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see all of our reviews. As soon as we post them, uh, you can be the first to like. You can comment on it. Make sure you comment on it. Um, you can share it to your friends. Make sure you share it. Post it on Facebook. Uh, tweet about it. You know, Instagram. Especially Instagram. We all on there. Uh, you know, just just talk to us. Please. Talk, or talk about movies. You don't even got to talk to us. Talk about movies. Because in a world of movies like Avengers Endgame, right? Like, look, look, look at what that brought. And we can tell you exactly when another movie like that is coming. That is an Avengers Endgame, right? Uh, and as always, don't forget, you see it here.